Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm Morning Glory Moth, but you can call me Jazz. Today we are finishing up the season of Revival. Or if you've been watching my videos, you may have noticed that I've skipped the past couple of quests. We're on to the last quest. We left off with the fourth quest when we went through Eden. And that's because the uh, quests, what they have been have just been to finish previous uh, season's quests. So we had enchantment, we had flight, dreams, uh, remember, one with the camera. All right, well, we are finishing up the season of revival quests. So let's take a look at the last one, see if it's just going to be another season guide or if we will get something a little more interactive. See how you can help the new village visitor. Hmm. Looks like we might be doing nothing again. However, we will be able to see the final cutscene afterwards. I wonder who it will be. Rebirth? Help with each of the spirit witches to revive something new in Aviary Village. Yeah. This is it's a good feature for new players, I guess, but it does leave the last quests of revival a bit boring for people who have been here for a while. Let's see. Spirit now has a home in Aviary Village. We don't even get a final cutscene. Okay, well. That was underwhelming. The final cutscene was maybe. The final cutscene was maybe supposed to be this. Because if we go over and if we look at the tree, the final cutscene maybe was when our hopeful Stuart got their colorful cape and hair accessories. Because if we look at the most recent two quests, they're kind of branched off of the final one as, I don't know, bonus quests. And then we have this quest. If we view the memory again, this was after we did the se season of enchantment. Uh, this spirit does some colorful magic. And the hopeful Stuart gets their accessories. So maybe this was supposed to be the final cutscene. And then the last two quests were sort of to just expand on that. Yep, it's almost the end of the season. And then they add this thing, which uh, I'm pretty sure has something to do with the New Year's fireworks that Sky always does. So I guess that was the final cutscene. Let's see. And this is. We have all our hats and things. Yep, yeah. okay, so now we have masks, too. Looks nice. Oh, it levitate. That works for a season of passage with the floaty masks. It started off- it started off interesting at the beginning. It started off like a normal season, but Started off like a normal season, 
But then towards the end, they were kind of just reusing old seasonal quests. And I kind of get where they're coming from. It's to The point of this was to create this new sort of hub in the game. Which they did. And uh, now we have essentially two closets in one. Uh, I have mixed feelings about Aviary and Revival. Just because, you know, the past four or so quests have all been um, to complete previous seasonal quests. And that sort of helps with this sort of hub feeling, reintroducing people to Sky. That's great for new players who haven't fully explored yet. They get to be introduced to all these new seasons. Though maybe from a storytelling point that can be a bit erratic to be in the middle of one story and then all of a sudden you're thrust into another... You're in the middle of one story and then you suddenly get, in order to continue on with that story, you have to go and complete a different story entirely. There's the last one. You have to go and complete a different story entirely. Avery is a super pretty map. And it changes time so not unlike home it changes time more like what is it season of memories area in prairie but it changes time on a clock we're still trying to figure out exactly what that clock was we know that one of the night cycles last night lasted for an hour and 20 minutes I mean, my personal preference would be to have it sync up with your clock, like the home space. But that's, that is my preference, so... Having two closets feels a little redundant, because I don't know why... There's not a whole lot of point to be going into all these different buildings if I want to change my outfit, if I can just fly over here and then just go to a normal closet where everything's all condensed in the same spot. I get that we want the buildings to have a purpose, but I don't know if anyone's really going to use them to change their outfits. It's cute, though. I do like it. I like the vibe. Um, I do hope that they are able to eventually add the same sort of functionality to the home space that they can to Aviary, because currently if you have your home space set to the home island, you'd still have to come over to Aviary to see the traveling spirit and get your seasonal candle. Even if you are on the updated versions with mobile and Switch and PlayStation. Overall, uh, liked the season, whole concept, did feel kind of unfinished at the end. But yeah, it does feel a little bit unfinished because we still have empty buildings like this one over here that don't have any purpose yet. Well, I think that's it. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe because it helps out the channel. And it'll make me very happy. Have a great day, everyone.